Portal Light is very easy to use. Just grab the bar, tilt it down, and then rotate it up towards the direction of the notch. Bring the tube into the notch and securely fasten the Velcro. Now your chair is actually quite stable. Release the cam locks if necessary and relock and drop the armrest into place. Now you're ready to get your client on the portal light. It's a good idea for people that are new to the chair to show them how to get on the chair. Make sure they understand before you ask them to do it. And stay close by when they get on to ensure that the chair is stable and that they're comfortable when they get on. Very few adjustments are really needed most of the time. The chest pad is made of very soft foam and is adjustable in height and can also be turned sideways. Generally you want to place it in a position where it lines up the top edge with the clavicle of the person sitting. The chair comes with a quick lock face rest and an aerosol face rest pad. That pad is adjustable in width to fit wider faces or it can be made narrower for narrower faces. So take a look at your client and figure out what the best shape is. You need to support their facial bones sufficiently so that their head isn't pushed through. The top part of the pad should be located on their forehead so you might have to adjust the height up and down a little bit. For some, adjusting the height and angle of the face rest is very helpful. So this is one of the things that you'll typically do. If you release the two knobs down below, you can raise it up and down. As you release the cam locks, there are two, you can control the angle of the face rest and then lock it at whatever seems best for your client. The best way is to release both of the cam locks and have the knobs free and here you can see the range that's possible. And hold it up and ask them to lean forward into a comfortable position. And when they look comfortable and in a good ergonomic position, lock the cam locks and then the knobs to secure the position. For the armrest, you're looking to create a comfortable position for their arms to rest at and their shoulders should be relaxed. It moves up and down by easily adjusting the length of the strap. There's a little buckle. If you pull, it'll shorten it and you can raise it up. You can also lower it by just releasing the buckle. The legs should be at a comfortable ang angle and their knees should have a comfortable bend. For some people, they might find that their legs are more comfortable if they're on the floor, either at the side or at the front. You'll have to check in with them to find out what's best. It's also possible to sit somebody facing backwards in order to have access to the anterior portions of their body. Very few adjustments here. The best idea is to turn the aerosol pad around to create a cervical support and then using the two cam locks and the knob adjust the headrest so that it gives good cervical support and doesn't force them too far forward or back and that they so they can relax in this case you can see that her feet are not comfortable they're not on the ground so if you have a small step stool or a regular stool just roll it up and support them To fold it up, just release the two knobs and raise the face rest up pretty far. Release the cam locks, lift up the armrest, and fold the face rest down and around and relock the cam locks. This will hold the armrest in place and the face rest in place. Then tilt the chair back and release the Velcro closure system on the bar and pull it out of the notch and fold it up flat. Very easy to do. The chair weighs only 15 pounds. Then attach the shoulder strap if you don't want to use the carrying case. 
if you're setting it up and taking it down on a regular basis very quickly and put it over your shoulder. Again, using the carrying case is the best idea. Hi and welcome back. Here you have your client sitting in the chair. It's time for you to work. Just a few reminders that you can keep in mind. Remember that when you set up the chair, you set it up for your own comfort and then adjust it as the client comes and sits down. And as you're working, you want to make sure that your shoulders, that your arms are just below your shoulders. Relax as you're moving from side to side, using your body as one unit as you work. Very easy, always breathing, never holding your breath, of course. And as you work around the body, same thing, you want to move your body as one unit, feet slightly greater than shoulder width apart. And as we're working, you want to use the legs. Use the legs as you're working. Yes, even if you're working across the back, 45 degree angle, using the body, rather than just the arms, use your body. Save your arms, save your wrists, safety first, okay? In addition, we can also use the saddle stool. Now, I sometimes like to use this when I'm, when I'm either working in the low back area, here, very easy over the ribs, or over the kidney area. In addition, when I have the person turn around, I sometimes like, if I'm using joint mobilizations, for those of you that are familiar with joint mobilizations, we can use this from this position, very comfortable for the client to be in this position. Also, the therapist supports the back, very comfortable in this position. And, of course, you can just stroll your way right around to the other side, work on the arms in a comfortable position. There. There's a self-care exercise that I'd like to share with you, which is both very, I find very effective for both yourself and the client. For example, what I'm going to do is just turn sideways so you can see the motion. I'm going to lower my fingertips on top of the shoulders, shortens the lever, okay? Bring the elbows through to the front in front of the chest, and bring the chin to the chest. As I do that, I'm going to lengthen the muscle in the cervical area. I'm going to lengthen the muscle between the shoulder blades. As I lift up and open up out to the side, we bring the head back to a horizontal plane, chin to the chest, back through to the front, and one more time, and lift. And then I like to reverse direction. We bring it forward and lift. Notice as we're bringing it forward, down and up, we're opening up the pectoralis area, lengthening the latissimus dorsi, subscapularis, very easy exercise. The next thing I'd like to do is take it down to the lower back area, the lumbar. I'll turn sideways so you can have a look at me. So what I'm going to do is slightly bend the knees. I'm going to immediately rotate the shoulders. Same time as I do that, bring the chin to the chest, bend the legs. As you slowly start to straighten out the legs, Open up the chest area, lateral rotation of the arms. Very easy for clients that can't lift their arm above the shoulder, if you want, or for yourself. You just bring the arms in front of the chest, exhale, inhale, open up the chest, okay? These exercises are appropriate for most people, and they can be done before or after any activity. Enjoy. <laughs>